Bull Creek is a large multi-purpose reservoir in the American Northwest. And once a year, it draws down in order to allow fish passage. And so while fish passage is the primary purpose for this drawdown, the U.S. Geological Survey has been measuring sediment discharge downstream of, of the drawdowns, which makes it a pretty interesting data-rich environment to look at how reservoirs respond to drawdown flushes and actually to do some modeling. So as part of an RSM study, we collected some time-lapse footage of one of the drawdowns. Um, I collected this with Greg Taylor from the district. And so this video, we're just going to run that at, uh, at high speed. And what you're going to see is we're going to actually track the morphological change of the main channel. And then the upper right-hand corner, we're going to um, show you where we are on the timeline and the downstream concentrations collected by the USGS. So after the drawdown, I built a RAS model with Jim Crane from the Portland District, and we actually modeled these flushes and uh, calibrated to the downstream concentrations measured by the USGS. All performed pretty well. There's, I'll put the link to the report below. And recently, John Shelley, Paul Boyd, and Roland Hotchkiss and I, we published a paper on the reservoirs in the United States that do these kind of drawdown flushes or other like alternative reservoir sediment management. And uh, that was an ASC, and I'll put the link to that as well. My name is Stanford Gibson. I am the sediment transport specialist on the HEC RAS team, and this work was funded by the Regional Sediment Management Program.